you. We have some Bill and Ted's most atypical movie cards, followed by Americana historic trading cards, and then some NFL football cards by Upper Deck, including one You Make the Play interactive game card, and then some Dark Horse comic cards, Deluxe. Next, some Nasty Tricks cards and stickers. I'm excited for that one. Then some Notre Dame player college sports cards. And then the Royal Family Jumbo Pack of foil stamped cards. I'm very excited about that. Then we'll have a look at some Caterpillar Earth Movers. Some Supreme collectible uh, art cards of uh, various fantasy and sci-fi images, I think. And then we have some Major League pop-up puzzle and cards. All right. Let's begin with Bill and Ted. What a great couple of films, right? So I went and saw the second film with my mother, and we were the only two people in the theater. Okay. This is from the Bogus Journey film, and it really was a very imaginative and well-done film. I might be mixing up my signals, but... I think that there was talk about a third one being uh, remade. So this is very nice. They're using film stills from both of the films. And on the back, we've got some information about that scene of the film. All right, here's an odd looking image. I'll have to revisit these movies. I admit that I can't remember very much about them. I remember the um, Nintendo game better than the film itself. But I must say that these two characters, just the uh, Lackwit stoners, I've always liked. Uh, comedy in that genre, and then you blend in some sci-fi and everything, makes it great. So, uh, the producers, the writers, everyone had a great time making these landmark films. Okay. Looks like a scene out of the fifth element, kind of, or Total Recall. So they, they did a really good job. Yes, yes, I believe that's Genghis Khan being fed a grape or some kind of treat or something. This is a great card. I'll be very happy to keep this one in the collection. Outer Mongolia. He's lured away by a Twinkie. Fine images and hopefully bringing back some great memories. Is that a Steelers player? Oh, I think that it might be. They're gonna have to run very fast to escape. There's no breaking through the steel curtain. All right, Americana historical trading cards. In an earlier video, I had one of these packs. First of all, we have Eli Whitney, a historical personage, someone to keep in mind, with a bit of historical highlights and a trivia quiz. They make you 
bounce between cards to find out the answer to the trivia. This was a musket producer helping out during wartime. Okay, Brigham Young. He was a Mormon leader. Here we have William Howard Taft, represented in oils. The 27th president, in case you didn't know. Nathan Hale, here in a seafaring pose, looking out over the uh, endless, unchanging ocean. Revolution era. All right, Meriwether Lewis, stick down in all of his finery, his leathers, as he takes part in some exploration. Yep, and he was an explorer. Died in 1809 with a long list of historical highlights. You can pause and review those if you like. All right. John Foster Dulles, a statesman, Cold War era. And I think in the last video we saw a, uh, an artistic version of Nixon where the artist took some license with some futuristic, well, at least with some sci-fi elements thrown into the portrait, Nixon and Gerald Ford. He was our 38th president. Topping his highlights, he is the only president never to be elected president or vice president. Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Proud statesman and our 32nd president. Douglas MacArthur. These names are um, familiar to me, although I admit I don't know a great deal about the history of our country. Oh, the early history, I should say. Oh, Kitty is not happy about being locked down. Uh, on my only visit to D.C., I, um, I could have walked a few blocks and seen the White House. I probably should have. But I stayed on the mall and went to the various museums. And I mostly enjoyed the Modern Art Museum and the uh, um, Botanical Gardens. And there we have Andrew Johnson. And there might be some mewling through the next few minutes of the video. But there's no way I can let her in because she'll trample all over everything. And she just loves to be in front of the camera. Alright, here we go. Some You Make the Play interaction in this 1996 football pack. Tons of text on the back. <laughs> Let's begin. So we've got a dolphin. Well, there's a dolphin player on the front of the pack. Uh, number 43 or 33. Or it must be 43 on the front of the pack. I'm just looking at the jerseys. And here we have uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. His rookie cards, this upper deck. Dolphins player. Next we have the first down card. Maybe this is the interactive play card. Yeah. So somehow they must have had a game. down and celebrate in a field of lilac and purple. Okay. Betty George with the Oilers. Um, we've also landed a Keyshawn Johnson playing for the Jets. player in full 
action pose. And a Bucks player with the old Bucks jerseys. And a logo. Looks like they wore less padding back in those days, less protective gear. Okay, now we've got a receiver for the Chargers. Charlie Jones. And this is this is probably one of the coolest football cards I've ever seen. I really like the format, the layout. Well, the excitement of the game and the strategy. So, this is a keeper for me. Some big names in this pack. Will we find a stealer? Steelers game since I'm close to the Bengals stadium. I've never made it happen. Maybe um, maybe this December, maybe. Alright, so we have a Bucks heavy pack. And then check out the faded colors and the just the washed out look of those old jerseys. Wow. So this was an odd um, an odd pack of football cards because of these Well, these strange cards, maybe they were trying to appeal to, uh, you know, get a larger market share by putting these odd cards in there. All right, so now back to the world of fantasy, uh, into some comic cards made by Dark Horse. Just flat sticks of pink 
sugar, but this one is just, um, you can see that it, it's, it's really molted a bit and evolved over the years, and it's stained this protective um, plastic. Well, something's going on anyway. So this is a, well, it's been, hang on, although it's been ruined by the bubble gum, it is... Okay. Well, we have some fly strewn uh, excrement and a nasty old cigarette butt. I guess cigarettes are even grosser than fly food, aren't they? Yuck. I'm a proud non smoker, non tobacco user. Although, for ye I did smoke for years started and stopped several times and finally gave it up. Our health is so precious. And I'm a stalwart supporter of these new um, um, vape machines. A lot of my friends now are moving into vaping and I'm proud of them for uh, taking charge of their health a little bit. So some nasty creepy bugs and moths. One time I had a giant moth land on my hand and then where it immediately shed. So that was memorable. All right, so some nasty stickers that we can use to uh, trick our friends. This is pretty cool. And now we have Red Toad Belly, the war dealer. Ah, oh, very strange. So I have another admission when I was in middle school. I got these crazy things called seed wards. And I, I don't know how common they are, but well, never mind. I would I would pluck them out since we're dealing with gross things right now anyway. One time I was taking a test and um your flesh I mean they're very odd and then they, they do have individual seeds that you can pluck out. And then of course I bled everywhere and got to go to the nurse's office instead of um taking the test. But I was a straight-A student in middle school, so... Alright, a nerds-only party. Yes, yes, yes. A dweeb lane. Dweeb is an underused word these days, isn't it? I write it in Jerkwater Springs. So, this is, uh... This is very cool. Alright, the Fat Boys Institute, FBI. card-carrying FBI member. Now, weight and fortune. Okay. National Spelling Society. And the Big Out Dining Club. Porky Hogbutt. So, uh, what an assortment of oddments here. They've given us a lot of things to check out here. The very, very interesting skateboard expert first class. Wow. I never ever became a skateboard expert. I could, I, I never even mastered the Ollie. Right. The Venus Beauty Academy graduate, Venus de Milo. Oh, well, English was the best class. You don't want to skip your down on your English or your um, humanities courses. Very cool. Okay, lots of fun. Kind of stained with that gross stuff, though. Gross gum. All right, <clears throat> now some college students participating in college sports. ago about uh, a marching band and they were making the Starship Enterprise but it looked like a phallus and uh, also on the field were some marching band people in the shape of the opponent's mascot so that was a bit of drama for the morning newsreel Art Hunter
character. There he is. So this is a great shot of him. The illustrious art hunter. Great. Okay, Nick. Pietrasante. Wearing even less protective gear than the uh, National, National Football League players we were checking out earlier. Angelo Bertelli. Kitty seems especially interested in these football cards. Pat Felly. Okay, he's demonstrating the juke. Fantastic player for Notre Dame. tackled by someone in a black and yellow uniform. That seems pretty common. Okay, the Cotton Bowl Classic. It's an odd choice. Jim Seymour getting or giving some instruction. I guess the coach is doing his coaching. And Greg Tingens. smile. His position was a defensive tackle. Alright, I've been looking forward to this one quite a lot. The Royal Family Guards. <laughs> the Jumbo Pack from 1993. Stunning facts and fun. Great. Watchers wondering. Well, I do like it. Get the game striped. Okay, and the Queen Mother. A passion for fashion. Great. So they make a good pair there while they're doing their daily, daily jaunt. tragic demise. I guess she died when she was in her 40s. Uh, fashionable caps. Well, well, well. The people who uh, put together this foil pack were not afraid to shy. <laughs> shy away from the truth. Okay, okay, well. I guess the royals are just like us, aren't they? Born in 1900 with a personal interest in hunt racing, gardening, and fishing. This press pass company released other cards. Oh no. Some cake during the wedding ceremony being smeared. And then... Well, it's giving us our zodiac fortune. Another shot of the princess. Jewelry, fashion accessories, Dianic totes, the royal scandal. Okay. The fl <laughs> Sarah, the flame haired temptress, was ripe for what occurred with an American oil tycoon. A scandalous 1989 visit. Roving redhead. Okay, the royal roost. Well, 
this is fitting since we just saw a picture of the White House a little earlier. Do a side-by-side -side comparison. Give some consideration to how we feel about our various systems of government in this wide world. Looks like she's weeping a little bit. Once again, proving that the royals are just like us. Okay, vacationing. The oceans of the Caribbean, maybe. Let's see where they were. Yep, it was the Caribbean. Good, good pick. Huh? I would notice that. Recognize that water in anywhere. Happy days. Happy days. Happy dies are here again. Okay. And on that particular vacation trip, they were uh, on a tiny exclusive tropical island of Nevis. Well, lots of fun. Now we're going to move forward into some Earth Movers collectible cards. And these, I suppose, are the rock stars of um, Big Machinery because they've autographed some of these. I'm not sure. I mean, know that you could achieve rock star status for doing an a job in uh, like an industry. Alright then. So now we have a um, tractor. A big 60 tractor. I just realized that the video is flipped. Oh no, Holt Peoria tractor. The early days of tractoring. Okay. And an asphalt compactor, we see these commonly. even today. Okay, cable laying became even more important later when uh, we all needed to get our internet fast, fast, fast. I don't know if they still lay them that way. And sometimes you just need to scrape something. tell you the horsepower and uh, the weight. We have a big loader followed by an engine, engine air support tractor. Kind of in a camo paint style. Odd looking machine. If it was a bug, some kind, it would uh, just be a weird looking bug, wouldn't it? Now we have a mass excavator. And as long as humans inhabit the earth, they'll always be excavating something. Alright, and then the elevating grader. I've done some grading in my time. Just, you know, with my flesh and bone and sheer willpower. Okay, so now we have some comic images. Uh, these are adult-oriented, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to review them off-camera before I display them. Practicing fixing. 
artists. And a foil card, but framed really well, nice, nicely, uh, nicely designed. Kitty's gonna need some attention. Is this the king, king of rock and roll, Elvis himself, in outer space? I really hope so. Wow, that is great. Caught in the Isle of Time and traveling eternally on the sounds of future rails. This is one for the collection, for sure. Okay, displaying some shoulder. We've got this temptress. Some of the, even the Conan foil cards had these weird backings where everything was um, like flecked. So this character is named Stardust. Skip the next one, which is um, a woman seated on a tree and a big wolf. And then we've got this android um, battle mech, enhanced humanoid, taking aim at some future uh, futuristic foe. Okay, my bad. We're going to end here with some pop-up, with a pop-up puzzle and some cards. They're throwing everything into this pack. Pop-up puzzle and cards. So, getting that market share by throwing in the kitchen sink. So this is the um, puzzle pieces, I think. You can tell that it pops apart. design style. If you collected them all, you could probably piece together a, uh... oh, yeah, you would be piecing together mm, like a very large uh, baseball card image. Now we've got Michael Scott. These are, yeah, huge cards. This is actually really nice. Um, I especially would like to see some of those fantasy and sci-fi art cards in this blown up size. It seemed, now that I'm thinking about it, it seems odd to me that these double-sided cards didn't uh, become popular. That would have been great to have big, vibrant images like this. So this is great. Just, just very nice. As the American League pitcher. Okay, very well done. Very nice. And the last card of the day is Jody Davis. The big size. We're going to be ending with this pop up. Murphy, fitting that his name's Dale, a Braves batter, and uh, this is pretty cool. So we get to fold it. Let's see here, fold in and fold out. Fold out the pop-up figure. And then, oh, I see it makes a little box. Okay. Shouldn't be too troublesome to... Uh, this for you. Okay. Watch that the bat doesn't get bent. Probably batting with a Louisville slugger, I would hope. Alright, so for some 